Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Finally got this Super VI200 uh, ready to go in the collection. Uh, as you'll recall, I think it's been six, seven weeks ago I unpacked this and told you that Brian went ahead and sent this down from Canada. Um, it was one that he had intended to to do some work with but just never quite found the time and it was something I was interested in so uh, he sent it down and wanted me to go through it and make sure I was happy with it so we'll we'll square up here now I'm definitely happy with it uh, it had a runability issue that I couldn't readily diagnose at first you know did the normal checks and it just had a a lean condition but it's kinda hard to describe uh, I'd get everything tuned seem pretty good give it a couple revs it would come down to idle and then start to die out and no matter what I did carburetor wise or anything else it just wasn't changing anything so I decided there had to be some sort of a weird air leak but it had a and I think this is where it comes in it had a, a newer ignition back plate uh, but something had happened when that was installed and either either the o-ring slipped and went down into the crankcase a little bit and got pinched or it was the wrong size o-ring uh, this uses the same size that the very early uh, Super XL and XL12 drive cases used I almost think a 925 o-ring was put on here at that point and that's why she had an air leak so once I got that figured out it was pretty much a slam dunk so cosmetically this thing's in great shape well good shape I won't say great but for however many Super VI 200 you're gonna see out there the fact that we've still got the label and we've got the solid state and then the French French pronunciation of transistorized uh, I had one throttle handle grip that I could work with. These are not the same as the XL920 or 123 grips. You can trim them down and make them work, but they are not the same. At least this model definitely had its own uh, Terry part number, and good luck finding those. The choke rod was a chunk of welding rod that was a real pain to cut out of there, and that's how I had to get it out of there. So I got the right, right choke rod in there now. You can see this side, most of the Super VI 200 is left. A little crack, but not anything big. I added this new old stock bar that I have, or had, still have. It was hanging, now it's mounted. I'm super happy with that. That is a home light chain, too. And then added a bucking spike. So, pretty complete. Ready to, like I say, get put in the collection, but why not do a test run? No decompression valve on these Terry saws either. Couldn't tell you why, but none of them had them. I may still have this thing set a tad bit rich, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. So, anyway, Brian, thank you for the time and effort to send this down. We'll get squared up, and I am super happy to have this in the collection. And you all can be certain that the 2023 calendar will have a slot for this saw.